Hello, and welcome to this presentation, Getting Started with Rodin Schwartz NGE Power Supplies. This presentation explains how to configure and use the different features of the NGE series power supplies, including both basic and advanced functions. The NGE is a series of compact benchtop power supplies, available either in two or three channel models. Both models can supply up to 32 volts and 3 amps per channel, and this yields a maximum power of either 66 or 100 watts. The NGE can also supply ramping or arbitrary voltage sequences, supports digital input and output triggers, and has advanced protection functions to protect against damage. In addition to intuitive front panel controls, the NGE can also be remotely controlled via USB, Ethernet, or Wi-Fi. On the front of the NGE, connections are made using either a screw-down type insulated terminals or pluggable banana-style connectors. The NGE outputs are both floating and galvanically isolated. This means that each NGE output can be viewed as a separate and independent power supply. This in turn makes it possible to connect the channel outputs in series or in parallel. By connecting the outputs in series, the NGE can provide higher voltages by summing the voltage of each channel. By connecting the channels in parallel, higher currents are supported. For example, we could combine three 32 volt channels in series in order to get an output voltage of up to 96 volts. Or we could combine three 3 amp channels in parallel for a combined output current of up to 9 amps. Once connections are made, we enter values for voltage and or current and then enable output. Select the channel using the hard keys then choose either voltage or current. Values are set using the rotary knob and cursor keys. Use the left and right arrows to select the digit and either the knob or the up and down cursor keys to change the values. Confirm values by pressing the knob or the enter key. To activate the output, simply press the output key and the desired channel or vice versa. Values can also be changed during operation using the illuminated knob and cursors in so-called live mode. To enter live mode, simply hold down the knob. The NG displays the output voltage, output current, and output power updated in real time. For two channel models, history information for maximum power, voltage, and current is also displayed. The color of the displayed values indicates the operating mode for each channel. White is used in editing mode, that is, when the output is disabled. Values in green indicate that the channel is operating in constant voltage mode, and values in red indicate constant current mode. Let's pause for a minute to explain what we mean by constant voltage and constant current. Normally, the user of a power supply configures a fixed output voltage. In this case, the output current depends on the load resistance, as per Ohm's law. This is called constant voltage mode, because the supply will hold the voltage constant even if the load resistance, and therefore the current, change. Note that if the load resistance decreases, then the amount of current supplied will increase. A large drop in load resistance, therefore, could lead to current that's high enough to cause damage. One solution to this problem is an electronic fuse that turns power off when maximum current is reached. Instead of simply disabling the output entirely, another solution is to limit the current to a maximum value by decreasing the output voltage. In this case, the supply is said to be operating in constant current mode. Whether a power supply operates in constant voltage or constant current mode is determined by the user-specified output current limit. There's no button or menu item to toggle between these two modes. Let's look at an example of this on the NGE. We configure the output voltage to be 6 volts and enter a current value of 400 milliamps. After enabling the output, the NGE will hold the output voltage steady, or constant, at 6 volts, even if the current changes as long as the current remains below the configured current threshold of 400 milliamps. Since we're in constant voltage mode, the values of voltage, current, and power are all displayed in green. Now, let's decrease the current value from 400 milliamps to 300 milliamps. The output voltage still starts at 6 volts and remains constant when the output current changes, but only as long as the limit of 300 milliamps is not exceeded. If, however, more than 300 milliamps would be drawn, the NGE automatically switches to constant current mode, lowering the output voltage until the output current does not exceed the configured current limit. 
when operating in constant current mode, values of power, voltage, and current are displayed in red. Although power supplies are usually operated in constant voltage mode, there are cases where we may want to have an output voltage that dynamically changes, based on a user-configured pattern or sequence. The NGE supports two different functions for dynamically changing the output voltage, namely Easy Ramp and Easy Arb. Let's take a closer look at these. As the name implies, Easy Ramp is used to create a continuous rise or ramp in output voltage. The output voltage starts at zero and then rises to a defined voltage over a ramping time from 10 milliseconds to 10 seconds, after which it remains constant. To configure Easy Ramp on the NGE, First configure the final or target output voltage as usual. Then press the menu hard key and select Output Easy Ramp. Easy Ramp is enabled on a per channel basis, the only parameters being the ramping time needed to change from zero volts to the final output voltage. Once Easy Ramp has been configured, the ramped output is enabled using the output hard key. Note that Easy Ramp is displayed in the status bar when configured for one or more channels. Unlike Easy Ramp, which linearly increases the voltage from zero to a defined value, Easy Arb switches the NGE output between different discrete voltage levels or current thresholds. Each one of these levels has a user-defined value and duration, and the sequence can be repeated multiple times. Note that Easy Arb is only available on channel one. To configure Easy Arb, press the menu hard key and then select Output Easy Arb. Note that this function must be explicitly enabled. The Easy Arb sequence consists of a series of points, each defined as a voltage, current, and duration. This sequence of values can also be repeated multiple times. Once you're finished configuring these values, use Apply to set the table. On the NGE front panel, press the Output hard key to enable output, and then Enter to start the sequence. Next, let's discuss protection functions. The NGE provides four different types of protection functions. The first three of these, over voltage protection, over power protection, and over current protection are user configurable and will be described on the next slides. There's also an over temperature protection function that protects the supply from excessive heat. If any of these protection limits is reached, a red indicator flashes on the NGE display and a beep is sounded. Let's look at each of the user configurable protection types. To configure over voltage and over power protection, press the menu hard key and then choose output protection. Note that these values are configured on a per channel basis. For both over voltage and over power protection, disabled means the limits are determined by the hardware itself. In the case of over voltage protection, setting the type to measured disables the output if the measured output voltage exceeds the user defined limit. Protected prevents the user from configuring a value that exceeds the limit. For overpower protection, setting the type to enable simply turns the channel off if the user defined power limit is exceeded. Overcurrent protection is provided in the form of an electronic fuse that protects against high currents. On the NGE, these fuses are configured per channel with a user defined current and delay. If the fuse is activated, output is disabled and a red fuse indicator is shown in the display. After a fuse has been activated, the output must be manually restarted. It's also possible to link fuses together. That is, if the fuse is tripped on one channel, both channels are disabled. Fuses are enabled using the Fuse Hard key on the front of the NGE. Simply press Fuse and then select the channel. To configure fuse delay and linking between channels, press the menu Hard key and then select Option Fuse. Note that the fuse delay can be set from 0 to 10 seconds in 10 millisecond increments. This menu also is where fuse linking can be enabled or disabled. Now that we've covered the basic functions of the NGE, let's look at some of the more advanced functions. These include tracking, digital input and output triggers, and remote interfacing or control. The channels of an NGE can be linked or tracked. Tracking means that changes made to voltage or current on one channel are applied to the other channels. To configure tracking, press the track hard key, select the hard key for the track channel, and then select voltage or current. Blue highlighting shows the values that are being tracked, and changing the value in one channel automatically changes the other track channels by the same amount. Note that although voltage or current will change by the same amount, the absolute values may be different in each channel. 
Another useful feature is digital input and output triggers. The NGE has four independent trigger lines located on the rear panel. Each of these lines can be used as an input or output trigger, and this makes it easy to integrate the NGE with other devices. For example, an external event could be used to turn the NGE output on or off, or the NGE could inform another device when a protection threshold is crossed. There are a wide variety of trigger conditions or actions, including turning the output on or off, having the voltage or current exceed a user-defined threshold, crossing a protection threshold, or running an easy ARB sequence. To configure the digital I.O. triggers, press the menu hard key and then interface digital I.O. Note that each of the four lines has its own configuration for specifying things like direction in or out, the channel, the stimulus or response, any values associated with the trigger, and the logic state. There's a master enable for all triggers, but each trigger can be enabled individually. Digital triggers can be used to remotely control or monitor basic NGE functionality, but more sophisticated remote control is also possible over the NGE's remote USB, LAN, and Wi-Fi interfaces. These remote interfaces enable programmatic control, that is, they allow you to both configure and read values from the NGE using standardized commands. Remote interfaces are configured via menu interface. Note that two methods of USB connection are supported. The first is the virtual COM port, which allows control over a simple terminal program. The second is the test and measurement class, which provides functionality similar to the older GPIB method of remote control. Please see the NGE documentation for more information and a complete set of supported commands. Let's end with a brief summary. The Rodian Schwartz NGE is a family of compact power supplies that are available in two and three channel models. The NGE is easily configured using the front panel, but also supports multiple digital input and output triggers and more advanced remote control. Other important features we've covered include easy ramp and easy ARB for varying the output, channel tracking, and a variety of protection functions, such as electronic fuses and overvoltage protection. This concludes our presentation, Getting Started with Rodian Schwartz NGE Power Supplies. If you'd like to learn more about the NGE or power supplies in general, please see the links in the video description. Thanks for watching.